Hello everyone, I am Gyan and you are watching the second session of Java and Wave, Variables, Data Types and Operators. In this video, we will learn about the bitwise JOR operators and someone said bitwise XJOR operator. This operator is denoted by caret sign. Let's apply the bitwise JOR operator practically. We have two byte variables A and B. A contains 5 and B contains 6. We have to do bitwise JOR operation on A and B. Since the maximum of int, type of A and type of B is int. So it converts both 8-bit byte operands to the 32-bit integer operands. It had 24 extra zeros on the left hand side of the operands to make it 32-bit. Now our operation starts according to this table. If both bits of A and B are same, then it results 0. If both bits are 1 and 1, then it results 0. If both bits are 0 and 0, then it results 0. But if two bits in the operation are different, then it results 1. That means if a is 0, b is 1, it results 1. If a is 1, b is 0, it results 1. The operation starts from the least significant side. Here one bit is 1 and other bit is 0. So the corresponding bit in the result will be 1. In this case again one bit is 0, other bit is 1. So the corresponding bit in the result will be 1. Here again both bits are 1. So the corresponding bit in the result will be 0. Here both bits are 0. So the corresponding bit in the result will be 0. Similarly, there will be 28 more zeros in the result. We will have 28 more zeros and the result will be in 32 bit. The value written by this operation is 3 and the return value 3 is of type integer. Because the type of return value depends on maximum of integer type of A type of B. So data type of this 3 is 32 bit integer. If I type cast the result from integer to byte, then the least significant 8 bits will be taken out. The decimal equivalent of this least significant 8 bits is still 3. In this program, we are using the JOR operator. We have a byte variable A which contains 5. We have other byte variable B which contains 6. We have a byte variable C which stores the A XOR B. Output of this result is of type integer which we are typecasting in the byte. And, and finally, we are printing the byte variable C which results in 3. Let me execute this program practically. Open bitwise JOR.java. This is the same program we just discussed. Let's save and compile it. Java C bitwise jaw dot Java compiles fine and then run it Java bitwise jaw. It runs fine in printing three. This is a task for you to do all the experiments which we did with the bitwise and and bitwise or. That's all for this video, guys. Don't forget to like and share this video. Subscribe this channel if you are new and leave your valuable comments in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.